Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Passionate Kelsey. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a plaid bucket hat. Um, you're going to need worsted weight yarn. I'm using acrylic. This is Red Heart Super Saver and these are both. I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. You're going to need a light color, a medium color, and a dark color. As far as tools go, you're going to need a crochet hook. I'm using a five millimeter crochet hook. You're also going to need a yarn needle of some sort, and then you're going to need some scissors. We will begin the first row of the project with our dark color and our medium color. We're actually going to start with the dark color, and we're going to make a magic circle to start the top of the hat. So to do a magic circle, I'm going to take the end of my yarn, I'm going to put it over my hand like this, so that the end is towards my pinky. I'm going to uh, grab that end, leaving my first two fingers out, turn my hand over, and then I'll grab the yarn with my other hand, and I'm going to wrap it over my two fingers, wrap it under my two fingers, and then go back over and create an X. After I've done that, I'm going to just hold that with my pinky so that I have the X there. And then I'm going to take my hook. I'm going to go under the bottom yarn, which is this one. I'm going to grab the top yarn, which is this one. I'm going to pull through and up so that I have a loop on my hook. And I'm going to grab the same part again, right here. And I'm going to pull that through the loop. That will create a chain that that keeps everything in place. You can go ahead and take your fingers out and we have a magic circle. So the first round is going to be 12 double crochets. Um, we're actually going to be changing colors in between every stitch. So this is a little bit chaotic at, at first, but it gets better. Um, I always like to start my rounds of double crochet with a stacked single crochet. So I'm going to do that first. I'm going to go through my magic circle. I'm going to do a regular single crochet. After I've done that, I'm going to do the stacked single crochet. So I'm going to go through the front loop of my first single crochet. And I'm going to do another single crochet. But I need to change colors every stitch. So before I do my last pull through, I'm going to switch colors. So I'm going to grab my medium. And I'm going to just throw that on my hook. And then I will pull through the last two loops on my hook to change colors. So next I'm going to do another double crochet. Um, in between every stitch we're going to be crocheting over the other colors. So this is my dark green. I'm going to crochet over that with my medium green when I do this double crochet. I'm going to yarn over, go through the magic circle and over all of these yarns, do a double crochet. Before I pull through the last two loops, I need to change colors. So I'm going to drop my medium color, pick up my dark color again, and we're going to switch back to that one. So I'm going to yarn over with my dark color and pull it through the last two loops. So I've changed colors. So basically we're just going to keep doing that. All the way around the circle we're going to do 12 double crochets, changing colors in between every one. And whenever you are going around, make sure you're crocheting over your other color. So. I'm going to go through my magic circle to do my next double crochet and I'm also going to crochet over my medium green here. Okay, I need to switch colors. Do another double crochet. Switch colors.
Okay, this is my last double crochet. This is number 12. Um, I need to start my next row with a dark green, so I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and switch colors on the last stitch again, so that I'll end up with my dark green. Um, but after we have our 12 stitches, I'm going to close up my magic circle, and to do that, we're just going to get our color that we started with, the short end, and we're going to pull on it. And that will close up the circle there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a slip stitch to close the round. I'm going to go through the top of my first stitch, yarn over, pull through that, and pull through the loop on my hook. And that is a slip stitch. And that is the end of the first round. So we have 12 double crochets, switching colors every stitch. The next round we're going to increase every stitch and then we're going to end with 24 stitches. Um, we are going to do two rows and for this row the colors are going to be right on top of each other so my first stitch is a dark green I'm going to do two stitches in dark green for the next row so I'm going to start with a stacked single crochet just like I normally do I'm going to go through my first stitch I'm also going to make sure that I'm crocheting over my medium green because I'm going to need it for the next stitch. But I'm going to do my single crochet. I'm going to go through the front loop, do another single crochet, and there's my stacked single. That counts as my first double crochet. I need to do another double crochet in that same spot because we're increasing. So I'm going to yarn over, go through, and do another double crochet. But before I finish that, I need to switch colors for my next stitch. So I'm going to drop my dark green, pick up my medium green, and I'm going to pull through the last two loops to switch my color. So the next stitch is my medium green. I'm gonna do an increase in there. So I'm just gonna do two stitches, just regular double crochets of the medium green. On the last one, I need to change colors. So to do that, I'm gonna drop my medium green, pick up my dark green, which is right here and ready because we crocheted over it. I'm gonna yarn over it and pull through my last two loops. And I'm just gonna continue the pattern around. So every stitch gets two double crochets in the same color that that stitch is. So I have a dark green stitch. I'm gonna do two dark green double crochets in the last one. I'm gonna change my color so that I am ready for the next stitch. And I'm also gonna make sure that I am crocheting over my other yarn color the whole time. All right, I reached my last stitch in the row, so I'm gonna do my two double crochets. And this time, I'm actually starting the next row with my medium green, so I don't need to switch colors, so I'm just going to complete that last stitch just like normal. From here, I'm going to slip stitch into the top of my next stitch to complete the round. I'm just gonna go right into the top of the stitch Yarn over, pull through, and pull through the other loop on your hook. And that completes round two. As far as the stitches go for row three, we're gonna be increasing every other stitch, which means we're just gonna do two double crochets, one double crochet, two double crochets, one double crochet, and that repeats throughout. Um, we're going to be ending up with 36 stitches in total. And for the colors, we're going to be doing the medium green and then the white. Medium green, white, medium green, white. And we will repeat those throughout as well. So I'm going to start with my medium green. And I'm going to start my row with a stacked single crochet just like I normally do. 
since in this row we're just using the medium green and we're going to add in the white we actually don't need to crochet over our dark green so i'm just going to leave it right here for later i'm going to go through the top of my first stitch i'm going to do my single crochet and then i'm going to go through the front of the stitch like that i'm going to do another single crochet and that completes the stocked single crochet that counts as a double crochet to start my round. We're going to increase in the first stitch, so I need to do another double crochet in that same spot. And there's my increase. And then I need to do one double crochet in the next stitch. Before I finish the stitch, we actually need to add in our white. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Here we are. I'm gonna throw it over my hook with about three or four inches to spare so we can weave it in later. And then I'm going to pull that through the last two loops on my hook and we'll continue on. We do need to crochet over our medium green. So I'll just lay that on there. But we're gonna continue the pattern with our white. So we need to do a increase in the next stitch and then a regular double crochet right here. So I'm gonna do two double crochets with my white in the same spot as an increase. And then in my next stitch, I'm just gonna do one double crochet. But before I finish that, I need to switch back to my medium green. So I'm just gonna drop my white, pick up my medium green and pull through the last two stitches. I'm gonna crochet over my white because I'm gonna need it once we get here. But I will continue the pattern. So we're gonna do an increase, two double crochets in the same spot, and then one double crochet in the next stitch. And we've reached our color change point. So I'm going to drop my green, pick up my white, and switch colors. This is just gonna repeat all the way around. So go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm on my last stitch of the third round and um, my next round starts with medium green. So I need to change back to my medium green on my last stitch. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'm gonna connect the round with a slip stitch. So I'm going to go through the top of my first stitch, yarn over, pull through both loops. And there's my slip stitch. As far as the stitches go on the fourth round, we're gonna be increasing every two stitches. So I'll increase in the first, the next two are just regular, increase, two regular, increase, two regular, so on and so forth. We're gonna be um, sort of repeating the colors from the last round. So I'm just gonna be doing medium green on top of my medium greens, white on top of my whites. So, we are still leaving our dark green out for later and we're going to be crocheting over our green and our white um, interchangeably. So I'm going to start the row with a stacked single crochet just like normal. I'm going to go through the first stitch, do a single crochet, go through the front loop of that single crochet, do another single crochet and that counts as my first double. I'm gonna increase in that stitch, so I'm gonna do another double crochet there. And then in the next two stitches, they are just normal, no increases, so I'm gonna do a double crochet in that one, double crochet in the next one. And then we're also at our color change point, so I'm going to change colors. I'll drop the medium green, pick up my white, 
pull through my last two loops and then I'll continue the pattern. So I'm gonna increase right here, two double crochets in the same spot. My next two stitches are normal, so I will do a normal double crochet, normal double crochet, and then we're at our color change point, so I'm gonna change colors. I'm gonna drop my white and pick up my green. And then this is just gonna repeat all the way around. Okay, I'm at the last stitch in this row. Um, for the next row, we're gonna start with our dark green. So that is the color that I need to switch to. I'm gonna yarn over, I'm gonna go through until I get to my last pull through, and then I'll just go to the back and grab my dark green that has been waiting for us. I'll pull it up and I will switch to that color. And then next, we're going to do a slip stitch to connect the round. So I'm gonna go through the top of my first stitch in the row. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through until I have one loop on my hook. And that is the end of row four. So for row five, we are going to increase every three stitches. So it's gonna be an increase, three regular stitches, increase, three regular stitches, so on and so forth. We're gonna end the row with 60 stitches in total. As far as the colors go, it's gonna be the same as the first two rows. We're gonna be doing the dark green and then the medium green, dark green, medium green, dark green, medium green, and we will repeat that all the way around. But if you ever forget what color you're on, you can just look back to the beginning and that should show you what color to do. So we are not using our white, so this white is just gonna hang out in the back of our work. We're not gonna crochet over it, we're just gonna leave it where it is. We are gonna be working with our medium green and our dark green, so we need to crochet over those as we work. I'm starting with my dark green, and I'm gonna start the row with a stacked single crochet, just like I normally do. So I'm gonna go on my first stitch, I'm gonna do a single crochet. I'm gonna go through the front loop of that single crochet and do another single crochet and that is my stacked single crochet to start the row. Um, the first stitch is an increase, so I'm gonna yarn over and do another double crochet in that same spot. And there's my increase. The next three stitches are just gonna be regular, no increases, so I'm gonna do three double crochets. That's one, and that's two, and that is Three. On my third one, we're at a color change, so I need to change to my medium green. So I'm gonna drop my dark green, pick up my medium green, and go ahead and change colors. And then I will continue the increase pattern. So I'm gonna increase my first one. So that's two double crochets in the same spot. And I'm gonna crochet into the next three, just like normal. Make sure you're carrying your colors, as always. In my last double crochet, I'm at a color change, so I need to go back to my dark green. And then I will continue with the increases. Increase in the first stitch, and then three regular. One, two, three, and I'm at a color change, so I'll change colors. And then this is gonna repeat all the way around until I get back here.
Okay, so I'm at my last stitch in this round. My next round needs to start with dark green, so that is the color that I'm going to change to. Okay, um, I'm going to finish the round with a slip stitch. I'm going to go through the top of my first stitch, I'm going to yarn over and pull through all of those, and that connects the round. For the next row, as far as stitches go, we're going to be increasing every nine stitches. So it's going to be an increase, nine regular stitches, increase, nine regular stitches, increase, nine regular stitches, so on and so forth. Um, as far as the colors go, we're just going to do another round of the same colors. So on top of our dark green, we're just going to do another row of dark green. On top of our medium green, we're going to do another row of medium green. So. I'm going to go ahead and start in the first stitch with an increase just like normal. I'm going to do a stacked single crochet. So that counts as my first double and then I'll do another one in the same spot, just regular double crochet and that is my increase. And then I'll go across the next nine stitches just like normal. So this is one two, three, this is four, but I'm at a color change, so I need to change my colors. And then we'll just continue on. So this is number five, regular, six, seven, eight, and then this is number nine. We're also at a color change, so I'm gonna go ahead and change colors. And then I just did my nine regular stitches, so I'm going to start the increase round over again. So I'm going to do an increase here, two double crochets in the same spot, and then the next nine stitches will just be regular. So one, two, three, four, and I'm at a color change, so I'll go ahead and change colors. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. I'm at a color change, so I'll change colors, and then the increase repeat starts over. So I'll do this all the way around until I get to the beginning of the round. Okay, I'm on my last stitch. Um, the next row is going to be starting with medium green, so I don't need to change my color or anything like that. So I just did a regular double crochet, and then I'll finish off the row by doing a slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. And there we go. So you should have ended with 66 stitches in that round. From here on out, as far as the stitches go, we are just going to be doing um, 66 stitches throughout. So we're not increasing or anything like that at all. Um, as far as the colors go, we're going to be going back to our white and medium green row. So we're going to do the medium green and then the white, medium green and then the white. So I'm not using my dark green for this round anymore, so I'm just going to drop this off and we'll leave it for later. I am going to need my white, but I don't need it until I get over here. So I'm just going to pull it up and crochet over it through all these stitches until I get to the color change spot, if that makes sense. So 
So I'm going to start my round with my medium green. I'm going to start with a stacked single crochet just like I normally do. We're not doing any increases anymore so I'll just go ahead and move right to the next stitch and start doing my double crochets. I am crocheting over my white. Once I get to my color change spot, I'm going to drop my green, pick up my white, change colors, and crochet across these stitches just like normal. Okay, once I get to my next color change spot, I will just change colors again and I will continue with my normal stitches. And this is gonna work all the way around until we get back to here. Okay, I'm at the last um, stitch in this row. The next row is gonna start with medium green, so I'm gonna go ahead and change to that color on my last stitch. And then I'm gonna do a slip stitch to complete the round. And this is sort of what your work is looking like right now. If you will notice, every section of colors is two rows. So um, we have one row in this color section, so we need to do another row that matches that color section. So um, basically we're just gonna do the same thing that we did in the last row. We're gonna do um, one double crochet in every stitch all the way around, no increases or anything like that, and we're gonna do the same colors. So we're gonna do medium green right on top of this medium green. We're gonna do another row of white on top of this white. So the rows are gonna be exactly the same as the last row that we just completed. So I'm gonna start with a stacked single and I'm just gonna crochet across every stitch, regular double crochets. I'm going over my white and once I reach the color change point I'm just gonna switch over to my white and continue around. So I'm just gonna go all the way around until I get back to the beginning. Okay, so I did that round and I'm coming up on the last stitch. The next row, we're actually gonna start our next color change. So I need to get on my dark green. Um, so on my last stitch, I'm going to change colors right to my dark green, which should be back here waiting for us. Okay, and then I'll connect the round with a slip stitch. And then I will keep going. Um, this round is going to be the same as these rounds down here as far as the colors go, but as far as the stitches, we're just going to keep going with regular double crochets. Um, so we're going to do the colors from this round and then the stitch counts from this round. So uh, we're going to do the dark green on top of the medium green and we're going to do the medium green on top of the whites. So we're not using the white in this round, so we're just going to drop it and leave it there for later. We are going to use our two green colors, so just make sure you're crocheting over those as you work. I'm going to start the round with a stacked single crochet, just like normal, and then every stitch around is just regular double crochets. Change your color at every color change point. 
and I, I mean this is pretty simple we're gonna do this row again as well so that we have two rows of the colors um, I don't really think that I need to show you that so just go ahead and do two rows of the dark green medium green colors and then I will meet you back once we get there Okay, so I just come back around. I did those two rows with the new colors. Um, so far, for just having regular rows with no increases, we have four, because we started here with the medium green and the white, and we went one row, two rows, three rows, and then I just did the fourth row. So I'm gonna continue down, and in total, with our regular rows, no increasing, we need to do six of them. Um, like I said, we already have four, so we need two more, which means we just need to do another row of this color pattern, which is the white and the medium green. So I'm gonna start that, pretty much. I'm going to start this row. It starts with the medium green. So I'm gonna do a slip stitch. I'm gonna bring out my white, though, because we're gonna need it later. And then we're not using the dark green anymore, so I'm just gonna drop it off here and leave it for later. But I'm gonna go ahead and do my next two rows of regular double crochets, no increasing, and I'm gonna be alternating with white and medium green. And it'll be the same colors as these rows down here. Okay, I'm on my last stitch after doing those two rows. Um, for the next row, I'm gonna have to switch to my dark green, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that in my last stitch. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and slip stitch the round closed. So this is what you should have at this point. This is obviously upside down. Um, but we did six rounds of increasing and then we did six rounds of just regular double crochets with no increasing. So in total, there should be 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. And that is gonna be the top of our hat. If I put this on my head, it would go right around like the top of my ears. Um, and then we're gonna start working on the brim, which is gonna flare out a little bit to create a ruffly look. Um, if you want it to be longer, then you can go ahead and add another row if you want, but this is where I'm gonna stop. And then from here, we're gonna start working on row seven, which is the beginning of our brim. So I'm gonna be working with the dark green and the medium green. So I'm gonna drop my white off because we don't need to work with that anymore. And the row starts with the dark green. I'm going to be doing increases so that our brim will be wavy. 
Um, I'm gonna do increases every two stitches. So I'm gonna do an increase, two regular stitches, increase, two regular stitches, and repeat around. I'm gonna start with a stacked single crochet. So there's my first single crochet. I'm gonna do a stacked one on top of that, and that counts as my first double crochet. I'm gonna increase in the first stitch, so I'll do another double crochet, same spot. Then I'm gonna do two regular, one and two, and then I'm gonna increase again. So two double crochets right into that same stitch, just like that. And then I'm gonna do two regular and my next two stitches. That's one and that is two, but I'm at a color change, so I'm gonna go ahead and change colors. I'm gonna drop my dark green, pick up my medium green, and then pull through the last two stitches. If I'm continuing the increase pattern, I just did two regular stitches, so I need to do an increase. Two double crochets in that stitch, right there. I'm gonna do two regular. One, two, and then I'm gonna increase again. And then I'll continue the pattern of two regular double crochets. And then every time I come to a color change spot, I'm just gonna change colors, but I wanna make sure that I'm continuing the increase pattern just the same. So that is an increase, two regular, and then I'll increase in the next one. And then I'll do two regular. And then I'll increase, and obviously this will just keep going all the way around. Okay, so I made it back to the beginning of my round and I need to switch back to my dark green, so I'll go ahead and do that. And then I will slip stitch the round closed. And this is what it looks like. So in the next round, we're gonna do some more increases and we're gonna increase every three stitches instead of every two stitches like we did in the last row. Um, we're gonna do increase three regular stitches, increase three regular stitches and repeat. Um, the colors are just gonna continue. We're gonna do another round of the same color work. So I'm gonna start in my beginning stitch. I'm gonna do a stacked single crochet. I'm gonna do an increase in that stitch. So I'm gonna do another double crochet in the same spot. Then I'm gonna do my three regular stitches. I am crocheting over my medium green. So after I've done my three regular stitches, I'm gonna increase again, two double crochets in the same spot, and then I will do the next three regular. I'm at a color change, so I'm gonna change my colors, and then I'll continue the increase pattern. So I did three regular stitches, and now I'll do an increase. And then this will just obviously repeat all the way around of doing an increase, three regular, increase, three regular.
as you're doing these rows, you can kind of start to notice that the brim is starting to ruffle out. Okay, I'm on the last stitch of that row. The next round is going to start with my medium green, so I don't need to change colors or anything like that. I'm just going to join the round with a slip stitch. And there is what we have. So the next two rows are going to be in my alternating white and medium green row. And um, that is actually going to be the end of our hat. So we do not need our dark green anymore. So I'm actually just going to cut it off right now so that it is out of the way. I do want to leave a pretty good tail so that I can weave that in later. But we're going to start our next round and I'm going to bring up my white so that I can crochet over it, so that I have it when I need it over here. Um, but these next two rows, as far as the stitching goes, we are just going to be doing regular rows of double crochet with no increases or anything like that. So I started the row with a stacked single crochet, and then I'm going to continue right into the next stitch with a regular double crochet. And I'll just go all the way around with regular double crochets and I will change colors at every color change interval. And I'm gonna do exactly that for two more rows. So I'm gonna do this row and then I'm gonna do another row and then we will be done. Okay, so I done my last <clears throat> Okay, so I have done my last stitch in the row and we are done. So I'm going to cut off my yarns, both of them. With the last yarn that I stopped on, I'm just going to pull my hook all the way up so that the yarn comes out of the top of that stitch. I'm going to grab my yarn needle Put that yarn through. And then I will go through the top of my first stitch in the round. Go through both loops like that. Just pull that all the way through. And then from there, you're going to go straight down the top of your last stitch. So straight down the top and through the front of this. And what that does is it creates a loop so that it looks like your work just continues all the way around. And then from here I will just go back through there because that kind of closes up that hole and we can weave them in and tie them off like we normally would. I usually just uh, weave them through a couple stitches down um, a couple rows and then I'll just tie them all in a knot so that they're out of the way. So those are weaved in, and then there should be three at the top as well, in the center. So just weave those 
together and um, tie them in knots. Um, but there is one thing that I like to do, um, whatever color that you started your magic circle with, which for me was my dark green, um, I like to put it on my needle and then I like to go around the circle a couple more times because right now there's only um, one or two yarns in there that are holding it together and I know a lot of people say that sometimes magic circles break so I will just like take that yarn or, or really any other yarn um, and just run it around the circle at least two more times before I tie it off just so that the top of my hat is for sure not going to break open at any point. All right, so after you have weaved in all of your ends, you should have a finished hat. This is what mine looks like. It's very cute. I really, really like the plaid um, texture to it. When I posted a YouTube short making this hat, so many people liked it. I just went ahead and made a tutorial for you guys. So I hope that you get some use out of it. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you wanna know when I post, go ahead and hit the bell. And any other of my social media that you would like to follow, those will be linked in the description. So have a good day.